Hey everybody! Welcome to Psych Facts. Listen caring sharing. Today, our topic is about how introverts meet their soulmate. Make sure to watch till the end, maybe you would find something useful that you could try. It must be very happy to be able to get someone we can open to him about whatever we feel and think. Maybe for people in general it's easy to be open with others and be normal and happy. But for us introverts, as you surely feel, openness is so difficult. Everyone is doubtful, even there is no comfort to be open with family or closest friends. It is difficult to get a suitable partner for those of us who are introverts, but that does not mean impossible. How introverts meet their soulmate. Here it is 12 ways to get a suitable partner for introverts. 1. Visit strategic places. Think in advance what kind of partner you want, whether a nerd, athlete, painter, photographer, model, writer, or other introvert who likes to spend time alone in the open. Whatever your choice, make it now. After your criteria are clear, it is time for you to visit a strategic place to meet him. You can choose a library, bookstore, or reading community to find people who like to read or write. Visiting a painting exhibition or painting class will lead you to the one who likes to paint and draw. You can also visit city parks to unwind and see people who do look like introverts to you. Either he reads a book, writes, or is taking a photo. 2. By pursuing a hobby. Engaging in a hobby is the easiest way to find someone who is suitable to be a partner. Someone who has the same hobby will usually have the opportunity to meet in some time. For example, you are an introvert who likes to travel, so when you pursue your hobby, you will be traveling alone or with a friend. In this process, of course, you will also find other people who do the same thing that you do. Especially if you are traveling in a famous place. As for introverts who like music, you can visit concerts in your city alone, visiting music exhibitions can also help. Especially if you yourself are performing. What is certain to pursue a hobby can be very helpful to find your introverted partner. 3. By improving behavior and appearance. Someone, whoever it is must have seen the outward appearance before getting to know others. So you have to get an attractive first impression for everyone you meet. First impression that I mean here can be your nature when meeting someone, how to dress, how to walk, or how to talk. Everything counts. But if you are an introvert who doesn't care about looks and doesn't like to pretend, you can use your intelligence or skills to lure the opposite sex. 4. Expanding your circle of friendship. This method is rather difficult for some introverts. But if you do not do this way, the opportunity to get a suitable partner will also be reduced. Expanding the association means increasing the chances of having a partner. So if you only spend your time in silence at home and busy with yourself, it's not possible to get a potential partner. Adding promiscuity does not mean you will look for a partner that is contrary to the nature of your introvert. However, surely some of these people are among those who have friends or acquaintances who can be a suitable partner for you. So that does not mean you have to date your friend. 5. Hang out with friends more often. This next way will make you have the opportunity to interact with friends or other people around you. When you hang out, of course you will discuss a variety of topics with others, ranging from hobbies to the opposite sex. Here you can also try to ask your friends for help regarding the type of partner you want. Surely one or two of your friends have advice. Hanging out with your friends will also make you meet other people who are hanging out depending on the place too, and do not rule out the possibility that later you will meet with your prospective partner at a hangout. For example, in cafes, parks, restaurants, or certain tourist attractions. Maybe for introverts this is quite tiring and uncomfortable to do. But at least you should try it first because the chances are big enough. 6. Smile more often. Like the previous explanation, this section is also related to someone's view when seeing and evaluating us. You imagine, what do you think if you face or see someone who every day is spent sullenly and cynically expression? You certainly will not feel comfortable and instead choose to stay away. So from now on you have to smile more to other people, especially if that person is your target. But try not to be too pushy and often smile. 
The only natural thing is that people who see you feel comfortable and interested. 7. Increasing outdoor activities. You can try to find your partner by doing activities outside the home. In other words, you can do your hobbies or work outside the home. Moreover, those of you who are introverts usually have a lot of hobbies to do. If you like writing, you can bring your laptop, books and pens to the park and write there. Doing a hobby in a cafe or restaurant can also be a good choice to do. What is clear is that you can visit places that are comfortable and crowded enough to make you able to meet other people. Another activity you can do is to visit various entertainment events or parties alone. You can also visit exhibitions, bazaars or night markets alone. Being alone will make other people's chances to start talking to you increase, as a result your chances of getting a partner increase. 8. Controlling emotions. Emotions are very important in a relationship. If you can't control it, I have to say that you might have a very hard time getting other people's hearts or making other people comfortable with you. Introverts like us will certainly have the ease of doing this because of our tendency to think and read situations. But not all introverts are like that, so you better start to look within yourself and start learning to control your emotions when with other people. When talking about the negative effects of emotional control, it can be like when someone who has no experience talking to the opposite sex, later when talking, the strangeness is seen because of feelings of confusion arising from an incomprehension of how to react, act or speak in the situation. 9. Familiarize talking with the opposite sex. This is the fastest solution that you can immediately implement. Sometimes we are very rarely interact with other people especially the opposite sex feel nervous, even cold sweat. As a result, when we talk later we will look awkward and strange, so the way to overcome it is by getting used to it. Talking with the opposite sex will also open up great opportunities for you to get your partner, because it does not close the possibility that one of the people you are talking to is someone who fits with you. It could be that one of them is an introvert that makes you comfortable and connected to talk about whatever you want. 10. Study. What does learning have to do with a partner? What I mean by learning here is to continue to fill your time by learning various things that you want. You will later in the process find people who have the same interests as you who study a field of science. You can start studying in a chair, campus, organization, community, or even at seminars. Your chances of getting to know new people will also increase later, as a result you will not only get a partner, but also increase business opportunities and increased knowledge. So what are you waiting for? 11. Online Pathway. Almost everyone in this world lives more in cyberspace than in the real world. Moreover, introverts who are without internet rarely socialize. So, you can use this internet to be able to find your ideal partner. You can try to find a partner through an online matchmaking application, social media, or by joining a community website. My suggestion is that you should join a social media group like Facebook. There you will have a huge opportunity to meet people who fit your personality. And one thing is certain for this method, you must be active as a member. You should also be able to have interesting conversations with people in the groups that you follow so that you are known by them. 12. Try to look around more. There are people who are interested in your thoughts and nature, but you don't realize it. Maybe there is someone who is always there when you need it, when you are depressed, when you are sad, even always calm when you are emotional. Sometimes we introverts get too caught up in our world, our hobbies, our thoughts and ideas, so we forget our surroundings. The longer, our insensitivity to his presence increasingly makes him stay away and usually we realize that when it's too late. It is natural for introverts to get caught up in their own world, but it would be nice for us to open up a little more and look around. One thing is certain, happiness is always in what is near us, that we experience, that we meet, and we feel. Not that far away that always makes us wait. So from now on, try to see the people who think you are important, the people around you. Do not rule out your soul mate as between them. Are you an introvert? What more do you like to add? Let's us know in the comment section below. Do you have any topics in mind? Tell us, and we will make them for you.
Make sure you like, subscribe to get more videos like this. Thanks for watching. Take care.